Hey everyone, this is Monica Rodriguez and I am showing you my instructional resource for drama. So this website is called dramanotebook.com and it's actually really cool. So um, they really want you to join because it's a $9.95 like monthly membership but they also have a free instructional resources. So if we go to curriculum, a drama curriculum, these aren't free activities. These actually you have to pay for. But if you are willing to pay for it, it's actually really cool. So it has like things on teaching basic drama, 10 essential list, warm-ups, games, um, no prep lessons, improv, fairy tales. They have a whole bunch of stuff for uh, teachers to look through. So that's really cool. And if you don't feel like paying, you can also go to the free stuff, which also has a lot of activities as well. So drama games. There are warm-ups, ensemble building, focus and listening, imagination and creativity, movement, characterization. So whatever you want to focus on, you can pick from there. And like I said, these are free. So if we want to do imagination and create creativity, we go to we could pick Hotspot, and it gives you the description on how the game is played. So you can look at that, and then put next game, so you can see what else is there. And they also have how to teach your first drama class, and that's also free as well. So if you're a beginning teacher, uh, they have this little um i guess information so it starts off you can put start here it's create an imaginative opening so how to invite students into the classroom to give them kind of like a welcoming experience because they may come in a bit shy so these are a couple games to kind of get them to open up a little more and then next is to introduce yourself. So it's kind of like step by step on how like your first class should be run. So students can kind of come back and want like to learn more and not really be turned off by the idea of drama and theater. And they also have plays for kids, which is also one of the coolest parts of this. Um, it's different like age levels. So right here, it's 50 free fairy tale plays. 70 folktale plays, 100 free scripts based on children's book, easy scripts for early readers, so for like the younger classes, Christmas plays, Halloween plays, and these are all free, so these are really cool puppet plays. And if we can go to one of them, The Fourth Little Pig. Let's do that. So right here you could see the early reader scripts, The Little Red Hen. So, The Fourth Little Pig. It actually shows the full script on the fourth little pig. So that's really cool. And it's a cute little short play for students to do. And it also tells you how long each play is. So the fourth little pig was two pages and everything else is like six pages, one page, four page. And that's about it with the free stuff. Oh, there's also a blog, so you can look at the different, like what community members say, drama skills for DI teams, um, teaching drama for at-risk youth, teaching drama to new grade levels, so you can also look at these blogs for free. And if you want to join, um, you also have more um, like materials you can look at, but it is, um, well, your monthly membership is $9.95 a month, but you're also um, you're only limited to 10 downloads per month, which kind of sucks because if you want to do more, like if you have, I don't know, theater every day and you want to look at more stuff, um, you might not want to go with that one. But they also have a yearly membership and a three-month membership. So if you can afford it, I mean, go and buy it. Like it's a really good resource. And that's about it. So, if you want to look at the free stuff, go ahead and look at it. It's really cool. The plays are really fun and cute for, like, the kids to be able to act out. So, yeah, this would be an instructional resource for teachers. I couldn't really find a website 
directed towards students where they can kind of explore themselves like different theaters and ways to act. So this is directed towards teachers and I hope you guys will use this in the future. And yeah, thank you.